Hi, this is Frank Ayers from Ayers Animation, and this video is intended to help you solve sound issues on your device. Now, I'm using an iPad, but this, can, this information can also apply to an iPhone or an iPod. All right, so nine out of 10 times, the problem can be solved this way. Go ahead and find your device's home button and double tap that. Now, when the task menu comes up, swipe your finger to the right bringing the task menu to the far left. And you'll see a little speaker icon there. That's your system mute. Now, my mute is off right now, but if you see that that icon has a hash through it like that, then go ahead and turn that off, and that should solve your problem. You should have sound in your apps again. And if that doesn't, keep listening because we have some other ideas for you. Now, where this gets really confusing for some. If that didn't solve your problem, for instance, you might have seen, rather than a speaker icon, you might have saw something else. Um, you might have saw the lock rotation icon, and it looks like this. You might see an icon that looks like that. Now that means that your configuration is set so that the mute is set to be turned on or off using your device side switch. Now the side switch is this little switch right here. It's next to the volume and mine is off. And if it were on, it would look like this. It would have a little red, orange circular dot showing. Okay, so that's the side switch. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off. And I'm going to go into the device settings again, and we'll show a few things there. So I'm in the general section, or general settings, and down in the use side switch section here on the right. Now on iOS 4.0, you didn't get this option configuration. By default, your mute actually was the side switch, on or off. Now, when you upgraded to iOS 5.0, if you've done that, then by default now, this side switch is actually the rotation lock. And that could be a point of confusion. But if you are on iOS 4.0, or if for some reason your system setting here is set so that the mute is the side switch, then you need to do a, a couple of things to get the mute off. First, if it's set like that and you want it like that, then what you'll need to do if you come into Angry Birds where you have sound, if you do turn that to the on position, um, you will not have sound. And additionally, if you go into your task menu, you're not going to get the system mute option there. It's going to be tied to your, your side switch. So, if that is your case, and you may not know that your side switch is on, this happens all the time, then go ahead and look at that side switch, see if the red orange dot is showing, go ahead and turn that to the off position, and your sound will return. Now, another point of confusion for a lot of people is that when they upgraded from iOS 4.0 to iOS 5.0, they may have actually had their system mute purposely set with the side switch. But when you upgraded to 5.0, it moved the functionality of the mute from that side switch to the icon in the task menu. So I've gone ahead and changed my system now to the iOS 5.0 default. So now, um, if you were to play Angry Birds, for instance, or Jack and the Beanstalk, which is one of our applications, you would not have sound. And so you might think, well, the way that I get sound is by going and switching my side switch to off. But you've been upgraded, and that no longer is the mute. And the confusing thing is this, is that whether you turn that on or off, it is not going to affect mute. Now you have to go into your task menu 
and turn off the mute that way. And now you have sound. Now, this next bit of information may not um, have any information that helps you solve your problem, but it is one thing that we've observed for other possibly app developers out there is this, is that there are some apps that do not honor the system mute. So this can become very confusing. So when users experience applications without sound and then they go into other applications that do have sound, then um, they're left to think that the application has a sound issue. So for instance, if I were to go into, let's go ahead and turn on my mute. So the mute is on and I go into the music app on the iPad and I go ahead and play that. It has sound. Now if I go into Jack and the Beanstalk, it doesn't have sound. Or if I go into Angry Birds, there's no sound. Because the system mute is on, both these applications support the system mute. Additionally, YouTube does not support the system mute. So if you go into these very common applications, you're going to have sound even though your mute is set. So the way that I solve that, like I began with, is you go ahead and turn off that system mute in your task menu, and then you'll have sound again. Well, thank you for listening, and I really hope that this helps solve your sound issue, and I hope that you have a great time enjoying all of the applications on your iPhone, iPod, or iPad device.